Good morning, everybody, from rural central Alabama. I'm out here today with Micah, and we're just gonna be mostly exploring a new area, driving around, seeing if anything's crossing the road. Um, it's not the best weather today. You can see bluebird skies and sunny, but it is gonna be cool at least. Ah, good old Alabama. Clear cuts and dirt roads as far as the eye can see. Well, we stopped to check out this bridge and there's just a guy swimming down there. I think that's a racer. Let's, uh, let's go get a better look at him. Fall into the creek here. This is so weird. Why are you in the creek, dude? <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's not even warm out here right now. Well, that was really, really weird. I mean, if it was hot outside, I would kind of not be too surprised to see this guy swimming like that, but he was just swimming. Like, he wasn't even on the bank. He was actively, like, swimming through this part when I first spotted him, and then you can see where both the snake and a raccoon and myself have walked through there. You can see the snake track and the raccoon footprints. Very, very odd. First snake of the day, though. I'll take it. Well, we kind of gave up on cruising and got bored and started walking around. And uh, right here is the first snake we found in Habitat. Nice little gravid female red-bellied snake. That is in C2. Really cool. Today might end up being mostly a bust unless we can get into some stuff here in Habitat because the cruising was abysmal. Hey, Micah just spotted a cotton mouth. We'll try to get a closer look at him, but he's kind of in a weird spot. Well, there we go. It's a pretty good looking cotton mouth, nice and orange. Very, very good looking snake. These guys always make a slow day better. And there's the one thing you can always count on, a ring neck. Never really surprised to see these guys, even when it's kind of hot and not the best weather like it is today. Well, here's a gravid female brown snake to go with our gravid female red belly. Look at how rotund. Very, very cool. Of course, I'm gonna gently release this girl. Love seeing these big rotund snakes right before they give birth. She's probably got another couple weeks, but brown snakes, red bellies, and other live bears are usually the first snakes to drop their babies in the summertime. Well, that wasn't something I was expecting to see today. It's a nice adult marbled salamander. We've seen quite a few of these this year out of season, and we normally see quite a few after the prime season ends, but really not something that I was expecting right now. Very cool. <laughs> All right, now, this is just ridiculous. Like, there's no houses anywhere near here. I'm in the middle of nowhere, and there is a gigantic teddy bear in the road. You can't make that up. I mean, that is just, it's just ridiculous. I wonder how long this thing's been sitting here. Like, I kind of want to flip it over and look at its face, but I'm, I'm also kind of scared that it's gross. Because, like, why, why is this thing here? This is so weird. Like, look at this. This is just, it's ridiculous. It really is. All right. We're coming back with, uh, with the proper tools for this. Jesus Christ. Wow. Poor guy. All right, well, I guess I'll just uh, leave him there. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Genuinely ridiculous. This thing is also gigantic. Like, it's one of those, like, life-size teddy bears that you get at, like, the mall. I really, I'm kind of at a loss for that. Look at this guy. Adorable. Just munching on grass. Peace out. Oh, we got a big guy. Well, moderately big. For a copperhead, at least. That is a healthy snake. Look at you. That's a good one, dude. Look at that. Good looking animal. Very, very, very thick. Probably a female, if I had to guess. Whoa! Easy there, dog. I just want to get you out of the road. Okay, okay. All right, well, here we go. All right, I'm going to get this thing. All right, Mr. Grumpy is off the road. 
hopefully there will be more snakes to come. Well, it really didn't seem like much was out and uh, I've started home and here is a little rat snake. So that guy is not very big for this point in uh, his first full year of existence. This is a really, really small and skinny rat snake. He almost looks like a fresh hatchling. But a lot of times when snakes don't get more than a meal or two in their first couple months of living, their growth will be a little bit stunted like this. So normally I would expect a rat snake of this age to be about twice this size. So kind of interesting to see how small this guy is. We've probably seen at least one or two rat snakes that are the same age as this guy and about twice as big already this year. But yeah, that might be the last thing we see tonight. I'm going to get him out of the road and continue home. Okay. If I see anything else, I'll stop. But if not, that might be the last snake of the day. Ah, yes. It is once again that wonderful time of year where we have to get up before the sun is even up good to go herping. Because it's starting to get kind of hot out here. But today we're headed to the mountains where it'll be a little bit cooler. So hopefully we'll be able to get into some snakes goal today is to see some timber rattlesnakes but really if we can find anything it will be awesome because it's been a pretty slow week that was a fast start like the third rock i flipped once we got to our spot we have a little northern water snake or a midland water snake this is the part of the state where you get a little bit of northern influence um really i haven't seen many in this exact area but this one does look pretty northern a big one Oh, milk! Wow! Oh, f yeah. That's a beauty. Holy cow. Look at that. Nice, dude. Well, there's not much better of a way to start the day than that. Really nice looking, freshly shed eastern milk snake. There was actually a shed under that rock, too. It could be his. Well, I have to admit, I'm not really surprised to see this guy here, but I am definitely happy about it. Seems like milks are very common in this area, but we weren't really looking for them today, so I'm very happy that one turned up. Hopefully there will be more, but uh, the main goal today is to see a rattlesnake, so we're going to keep moving, and hopefully we'll see one. But very good-looking milk snake is our first good find of the day. I'll put him back under his rock. All right, dude. There you go. It's probably going to go down the leaf litter here. What a good looking snake. Great way to start the day. You can see he's actually making his way under the rock, under the leaf litter there. There's a little worm snake. Not at all something that I'm surprised to see here. But another species for the tally. There's our first black racer of the day. I doubt we're gonna get a better look than that. Milk. Very nice. Look at that. That is among the larger milk snakes I have seen in Georgia. Or anywhere, really. Look at that. Not the most colorful milk, but a good looking snake nonetheless. It's a unit. Very, very nice. It's almost like noon at this point, and it's still not particularly hot outside. I mean, this guy was cool to the touch. So hopefully we still got a lot of herping ahead of us. I think he was under this one. I can't remember. I mean, he probably goes all around these rocks right here. So we'll just let him slide back in. Milk snake number two. Look at this. We got a lizard with a view. Nice male fence lizard. All right, guys, we're going to kind of transition into road cruising now. It's gotten pretty warm and, uh, we kind of flipped most of the rocks at the last spot, so we're gonna drive around for the rest of the day and hopefully stuff will be moving. Hey, it's been a while since we saw something, but that is a really nice looking little rat snake. Look at him. Well, this is definitely one of the grumpier rat snakes I've found. He is definitely, look at this. <laughs> Good looking snake though. Out of the road with this one and on to the next one, hopefully. All right, out of the road. Go. 
Well, the night cruising has definitely been less than ideal. This is the first thing we've seen, and it's like 10.30, and we were about to call it a night. Um, but that's okay, because it's been a pretty good day overall. Definitely highlighted by those milk snakes, but, I mean, I'm never going to complain about that. So, this might be the only thing we see tonight, but nice little brown snake. We'll get him out of the road and probably call it a day here. Well, we got an 11 o'clock on the way home, snake. Another big, fat, smooth earth on the same road where we always find the big, fat, smooth earths. It's kind of ridiculous how many of these there are on this one little road. But I just made a quick pass on the way home. Probably going to be the last find of the night and possibly the video. We'll see.